Today, let me uh, talk and tell you about how to enhance and improve your writing skills. Many people I have spoken to believe that it is a creative skill and not everybody can write well. I completely disagree with that notion and mindset. Writing is simply like, you know, talking and speaking. Everyone does that. What will happen if you start talking or speaking in the written form? It will be called writing. As simple as that. You cannot compare writing to singing, which definitely could be considered as a creative hobby, but not writing. It just becomes a skill set, writing, once you start writing regularly, I feel. The skill and art of writing are natural and every person would have this trait or attribute. Believe me, the only part which one has to focus on is how to enhance or improve the writing trait so that it becomes expertise or proficiency in, in, in a way. Simple writing is definitely not a creative quali quality. You know, Yes, writing poetry or lyrics is creative writing. However, Anybody can write views, opinions, and, and thoughts. Anybody can pen them down. There are uh, four corners uh, to improving your writing skills. And all are equally important. First and foremost, it is very important to realize that writing should be treated as an original, individual, and natural process. Meaning thereby that nobody should assume or think or attempt to copy the writings or style of writing of any third person, then you're messing it up. Once you start having belief, trust and confidence and faith in your natural given strength, writing becomes a piece of cake. Secondly, the flow of thoughts is fundamental to the art of writing or the skill of writing. It will follow naturally the writing skill. Do not interrupt your thoughts and never get distracted when you are writing something uh, because I feel writing is born out of chain of thoughts and that requires concentration and, and, and focus of mind. But definitely for writing, you need to have a bouquet or a buffet of expressions and words. And by this, I do not mean to say that you need to have a fabulous vocabulary. But what you need is, again, I'm emphasizing flow of thought process and usage of expressions, choice of words and language, which are easily understandable. So don't get lost in choice of words. In fact, based on my interaction with several audiences at different conferences, workshops, seminars uh, and, and talks, I've realized that the people or the listeners want to listen to a speaker who has clarity in his thoughts and is using simple language to convey it. The same goes even with the readers. People like to read simple language with, with absolute clarity. If you tend to use tough words in your writings, uh, you know, for which one may have to consult a dictionary, will make no sense to people. Though, you know, one can, un uh, can make out the meaning of even tough words because they are not used in isolation. They are, you know, based on the context of a particular phrase or sentence where this tough word is used by a writer or speaker. Uh, the, the words do become understandable, but still th there is an effort required on the part of the listener or the reader. So therefore two important things which I have told you are, one, have, a, have trust, faith, belief in your original individual writing skills. And second, have a focused thought process or flow of thoughts and try as 
and try to use as much simple language as possible. When you're writing any piece, blog, opinion, viewpoint. Thirdly, in order to become a good writer, first learn to become a good reader. You need to be a good reader so as to comprehend, accumulate knowledge and information. Knowledge begets knowledge. Information begets information. This will also help you in building up that buffet or bouquet which I, of words which I was talking about earlier. Fourthly and finally, it is important to rely on your experience while writing anything. I do not mean only personal experience, you know, like things which have happened to you. But what I mean to say is that, you know, something based on your understanding and familiarity and knowledge around, around you. You know, it could be something which you have read somewhere or you have noticed somewhere or you have heard, uh, or let's say you have heard uh, someone or, or, or you saw something, you know. So that becomes important database for you. Thank you for today. See you next time in another video talk.